there's been incredible advances in sports science over the years, and we've advanced in our understanding of nutrition. We've advanced in our understanding of sleep and how it impacts performance, um, how hydration, how important it is, and and in, in fact, the way that we warm up before practice or games has even advanced. Um, strength and conditioning certainly has advanced, and you know, as an athlete, in, back in my day. Warm up was basically go out, run around, do a little stretching, and go out and play. Now we've advanced that to, to more of what's known as the dynamic work, you know, warm up. But regardless, there's been advancement and we've moved forward with it. As far as the mental game goes, I, there's been very little advancement in how we get our minds prepared before performance, even though every coach will say it's extremely important where our athletes' minds are before we go out you know, to compete. And so one of the things that I, that I do with my athletes, but that I actually would like to see more coaches take a proactive stance on, is the um, what I call mental game warm-up. And what I mean by that is that we actually say to athletes, okay, well now we're going to go, we're, this is our period of time to warm up before the game, to get our body physically ready to perform, to prevent injury, but also to be ready to go. And we should be doing the same exact thing with our mind, with the mental game. And the reason being is because we don't want to leave that part of it up to chance. You know, we could have a bad day prior to the game. We could have something negative that happened. We could have just have negative thoughts going for whatever reason. We don't even know why they're going there. Um, and so we don't want to leave that up to chance, yet we basically do. So what you'll we'll often see is athletes sitting there, headphones on, listening to music that's kind of our mental warm-up for a lot you know that's kind of what people think of and that that's getting me into the into the mood maybe because i have a certain song on that fires me up but there's so much more to it than just kind of having that um, emotional uh, adrenaline kick that maybe a certain song can give us and so what i would like to see is that proactive that a coaches say we're going to use this five minutes it doesn't have to be long it could be two minutes but that the coach is asking players to be specific, that this is our time to lock into our mindset and that it's a very you know specific mindset that we're going for. And that mindset is what I do with athletes is to kind of get them into what they need to think about. I call it their best self and we get into our best self and we actually visualize and see what it is that makes us the player that we are. So what makes me the player that I am at my best is going to be different than what makes you the player that you're best, but we're going to be very specific about it. We're going to have a very specific time about it. And to me, that takes us into the, you know, to the, to the next level of sports science when it comes to the mental game. But it also has a very, um, it, it will be spe specific as in when we do it. We're not going to do it too far out because other things can happen, or we're not going to get it too close to the game because things get too loud and too disruptive. We have to do it at a very specific time, and we're going to make time for it. And if we make time for it, the athletes themselves are going to say, this is important because coach is making time for it.